So, right now, ladies and gents, we are headed into Nuance City Council meeting for a good day. This is actually dealing with the home, healthy homes ordinance, which deals with infrastructure and improvement of infrastructures in those areas that have been neglected and you know clearly are in need of improvements and repairs and funding to do those things. So we're gonna go and tell the city that they're doing a good thing and that they also need to continue doing so. So we want y'all to keep on staying tuned. Jeffrey May, followed by Della Wright, followed by Kevin Hurstell. Good afternoon. Hi. Hello, Council. Thank you for this opportunity for allowing me to speak. I'm Jeffrey May from International Development and Planning. Uh, 8500 Dixon Street is our family property. I'm coming to speak on behalf of uh, my organization in support of the ordinance. Um, I also want to, uh, if I can, uh, share with everyone that I am, my, my firm is actually uh, one that works with uh, jurisdictions all across the United States uh, to affirmly further for housing. Uh, before our friends leave, I actually want to make sure that everyone understands and hears my remarks that, um, in, and I'll get to it quickly, I am uh, dismayed by the ahistorical perspective that our friends have about who is actually suffering uh, in terms of these areas that have been languished and haven't been developed. Um, I'm also glad to hear that someone said that this is a fair housing issue, because it is. So I want to encourage the city to continue taking steps to actually safeguard those who are most vulnerable. We need to think about who are the persons who actually are living in these homes that are unsuitable. Well, I've been, I was previously executive director of the Great New Orleans Fair Housing Action Center. Uh, my firm is one of the technical assistance providers for HUD all across the country on this issue of affirming further and for housing. So I want to encourage you to continue being leaders and standing up for those whose rights are often overlooked and those who are the most vulnerable of our population. Who are those persons? Um, the persons that are probably most likely to inhabit the rental units that are in neglect are probably families with children. They're Hispanic, Latino, and African Americans. Um, these are persons who are protected by the Fair Housing Act. And so I appreciate, in the time that I have, that we all understand that this is a systemic issue and that this is a nice and a wonderful first step, but we need to continue doing more. And I applaud you and I support this ordinance. Thank you.